What's up gamers? I'm John and this is my level up news where I bring you news every weekday. It's the top news I gather from around the web so you don't have to. Today's Tuesday, April 23rd, 2024. Let's get you leveled up with today's news. The Fallout TV show's success has caused a surge in traffic to Nexus mods, with Fallout 4 and Fallout New Vegas experience massive spikes in mod downloads. The site's performance has been heavily degraded since the show's launch on April 10th, leading to slow download speeds. Despite the challenges, Nexus Mods community management team is working tirelessly to keep the site running smoothly. The site served over 6,300 terabytes of mods between Friday and Sunday, with peaks of 24 million total file downloads per day, compared to normally 10 million a day. However, the surge in traffic has highlighted sustainability issues and the site can't afford an infinity solution to meet such massive spikes. Nevertheless, Nexus Mods sees this as an exciting time with many new and returning fans exploring mods for the first time or rediscovering them, keeping the Fallout series fresh until the release of Fallout 5. Atlas has announced its latest RPG, Metaphor Refantasio, will launch on October 11th for PC, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series X and S. Directed by Katsura Hashino, known for his work on Shin Megami Tensei 3, Persona 3, Persona 4, and Persona 5, the game features a soundtrack by Persona composer Shoji Meguru and artwork by Nier Automata concept artist Kota Kazuma. Set in the kingdom filled with machinery and vehicles designed by Ikatu Yamashita, the story follows the protagonist's quest for the throne after the kingdom's ruler is assassinated. Refantasio introduces archetypes, providing characters with various classes, and implements a mix of real-time action and turn-based gameplay. The game also features a follower system similar to Persona's social link system. A collector's edition priced at $150 is available. The final shape raid in Destiny 2 is set to release on Friday, June 7th at 1 a.m. Eastern Time, just three days after the expansion's June 4th release date. Bungie has broken from its usual release schedule, launching the raid earlier than normal, and it's a significant departure from the norm. Typically, players have around two weeks to finish an expansion's campaign before a raid is introduced. However, the Final Shape raid, featuring the Witness as its final boss, is a pivotal moment in Destiny 2's Light and Darkness saga. Bungie's decision to release the raid earlier is a bold move as it allows players to seamlessly transition from the campaign to the raid, ensuring that they won't have to wait long to experience the full story. Billie Eilish is joining the Fortnite universe as a playable character, released today. She'll be featured in the next season of Fortnite Festival, bringing her songs to the in-game experience. Along with her victory crown and neon green color skin, players can expect to see her songs available to play in the Fortnite Festival mode. This collaboration adds Eilish to the list of big name stars featured in the game, following the likes of Lady Gaga, Ariana Grande, and Eminem. Fortnite's ongoing season has a Greek mythology theme, and it recently had a crossover event with Avatar The Last Airbender. Earlier this month, Stellar Blade developers expressed their surprise at the dedication of some fans who have already invested dozens of hours into the game's demo. One player, Hardware Cheese, posted a picture on Reddit showing Eve's skill tree nearly maxed out after spending 60 hours grinding through the demo's limited content. Despite questions about why anyone would spend so much time on what seems like a pointless exercise, Hardware Cheese explained their goal was to master all the moves, combos, and variations before the game's release. The saved progress from the demo will transfer to the full game when it launches, allowing Hardware Cheese to continue their journey seamlessly. In Hades 2, you play as Manoni, the daughter of Hades and Persephone, younger sister of Zacharis, and the princess of the underworld. Set after the events of the first game, Hades 2 sees Manoni, with the help of Hackety and various figures from the Greek mythology, embarking on a journey to defeat Kronos, the Titan of Time, who has brought ruin upon the House of Hades. Along the characters you'll encounter are gods like Aphrodite, Apollo, Artemis, Demeter, Hephaestus, Poseidon, and Zeus, each offering unique boons and benefits during your runs. Additionally, there are minor characters like Dora, Phrynos, Hypnos, Lord Moros, Nemesis, Odysseus, and Shilimius, adding depth and flavor to the world of Hades 2. And with that bundle of gaming news, I hope you got enough experience points to level up your gaming knowledge today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you don't miss any new videos coming out.